This video demonstrates the insertion of an aeroradial arterial product using the integrated Seldinger technique with ultrasound guidance. Teleflex is proud to offer the first integrated Seldinger technique for arterial catheter insertion. The integrated design enables quick and easy insertions. Additionally, it is designed to reduce the risk of contamination and blood contact. Prior to insertion, adjust the bed to the proper height and ensure that the ultrasound machine is in the proper position and easily accessible. Perform a vessel assessment using ultrasound. Using the probe, assess the intended insertion location for the optimal insertion site. Assessment should include the vascular anatomy, vessel depth, and nerve pathways that may inhibit a successful insertion. Avoid choosing a site that would interfere with the range of motion post-insertion. This zone shows the optimal insertion area for radial insertion to minimize mechanical complications. Prior to a radial arterial catheter insertion, an Allen's test is performed to confirm adequate collateral circulation. An Allen's test is performed by compressing both the ulnar and radial arteries. Begin by having the patient clench their fist for 30 seconds. Next, have the patient unclench their fist while still compressing the ulnar and radial artery. The patient's hand should appear blanched. Compression is removed for the ulnar artery while maintaining pressure on the radial artery. Look to observe a return of blood flow within 10 seconds. The return of blood flow demonstrates a negative Allen's test and indicates that the site is acceptable for radial artery catheter insertion. Next, you will want to prepare the extremity for insertion. Position the wrist in dorsal flexion to bring the artery in closer proximity to the skin. Prep and drape the insertion site per hospital protocol. As part of any CLABSI prevention bundle, use a chlorhexidine-based skin prep as recommended by the CDC guidelines. Use a scrubbing motion to create friction. Be sure to prep and allow the proper drying time per manufacturer's instructions for use. Now, we will review the catheter prior to insertion. Remove the protective shield from the placement device. Be sure to test the advancement and retraction of the spring wire guide through the needle using the spring wire guide handle to ensure proper function. Note, prior to insertion, the spring wire guide handle must be returned to the original position before insertion or blood flashback may be inhibited. Next, don sterile probe cover using sterile technique. Once covered, the probe needs to be maintained on a sterile field. Administer local anesthetic when indicated. Use the ultrasound when available to visualize infiltration of local anesthetic at the intended insertion location. Using the ultrasound, identify the artery. Puncture the vessel using a continuous, controlled, slow, forward motion. Once blood flow is visualized in the wire housing, stop the advancement of the needle. Blood flashback in the clear hub of the introducer needle indicates a successful entry into the artery. Avoid transfixing both walls of the artery. Subsequent advancement of spring wire guide could result in inadvertent subarterial placement. Use of ultrasound can help prevent this. Advance the entire placement device a maximum of 1 to 2 millimeters further into the vessel to ensure that catheter is seated within the vessel. Lower the placement device assembly slightly. Stabilize the position of the introducer needle and carefully attempt to advance the spring wire guide into the vessel using the spring wire guide handle. When spring wire guide handle reaches the black line on the tube, this indicates that the tip of the spring wire guide is located at needle tip. Note, if resistance is encountered during spring wire guide advancement, withdraw the entire unit and attempt a new puncture. Advance the catheter forward over the spring wire guide. Hold the catheter in place and remove the spring wire guide assembly. A pulsatile blood flow should be visible at the end of the catheter. This indicates a positive arterial placement. Attach a pre-flushed pressure transducer tubing setup or stopcock assembly. Secure and dress the catheter to the patient. A chlorhexidine impregnated sponge dressing can be used for additional bloodstream infection protection. See the CDC guidelines for more details. Avoid looping the pressure tubing over the patient's thumb to minimize catheter malposition and dislodgement. 
connect to the patient monitor, level, and zero to phlebostatic axis. For more information on the Aero Arterial Catheter, please visit aeroarterial.com or contact your Aero Vascular Sales Representative. Mm -hmm.